I'm Chris and this is my custom or aftermarket steering wheel part two, the horn button. So part one, we're familiarizing ourselves with the steering wheel, how it goes on there. We had to correct the little foil strips. I was so focused on my custom horn button, it turned out great. Towards the end, we'll JB weld it in there. We're gonna have this installed 100% and you're gonna hear this beep, beep, beep at the end. So what really confused me is I guess when they took the other steering wheel off, they left this piece on it and threw it in the trash because this piece did not come with this car. I had to buy this for $20. So on GM, it kind of sticks in there like that and then your steering wheel goes on it. This one screws to the back of the steering wheel. So another thing you have to do is completely understand your horn contacts and how it works 100%. That's why we're making a 72 Beetle installation because most of the cars I work with, the horn button grounds out the horn relay over there this one straight power from the horn and then we ground it out right here to right here so in this car the key has to be on and i'm not gonna lie to you i did not have that figured out the first time but watch this all right this is a 16 gauge wire and we need to run it back through the car and connect it right here so that was not fun fishing that wire through there we got it all crimped up ready to heat shrink Now I'm just gonna pull that back up through the harness and you'll never know it was repaired. So you see, we figured out where that dangling wire went. We have no loose wires on this car now. That was the last one. Now we need to make sure that's gonna beep the horn. All right, good. Okay, so that repair right there just took me like 30 minutes. I had to splice that one, run it through the harness, back through that stuff. So now it looks like nothing was ever cut. On uh, the 72 Beetle, the horn is down there. So this piece right here, you need to go ahead and mark it and know exactly where up is. So when your signal light is on, see it puts that little bump out. This is the signal light canceling cam. It's coming from the horn right there. This is grounded, so we took a screwdriver, beep, beep, beep. Rides right there, so no matter where you are, you're always touching it. This kit is for 72 Beetle. This should go right inside there. So remember I was saying on the Beetle, the canceling cam horn contact screws to the steering wheel. That's why you always see that in the pictures of the steering wheel. That's why we clocked this piece with our steering wheel so we know exactly where straight up and down is now. Okay, so look at it from all angles, make sure it feels right. Everything feels good. So remember this one's screwed to it. So the kit comes with four screws and notice the holes are a little bit off. It's centered on the aluminum hub part. So don't worry about it. It's going to align itself. Let me go ahead and put this cover on it make sure nothing's hidden everything is perfect beautiful and this is why we're doing an only horn button video because if you buy this steering wheel you're gonna have to custom cut this horn button down it will not ground out and beep to so see all those little scratches where the paint was coming off that's where i was continuously trying to get it to beep and it would not fit so what i had to do i don't know if you can see that's not perfectly straight i had to take a grinder and take about a sixteenth of an inch off of the whole thing and then custom cut it where it wasn't hitting these two as you can see this thing fits in there flush now it was not doing that at all i mean you got to mark your center this piece right here came off and on about 30 times yeah i did test it it was beeping cut like this and then i had to go put it back on the car and then i put it on there wrong to re-clock it so that's the top and we just need to Put that in there straight we're going to be using jb weld we're going to also jb weld the spring right there the socket fits over it and compresses it it doesn't affect it in any way i don't want that spring coming out and then we got to put something here to protect it we're going to cut this coffee lid thing out and just super glue it so you get some alcohol and industrial cleaning cloth wipe down whatever you're going to jb weld okay notice i went back and painted in here because we ground it down and it was already starting to rust all right so for this we can go ahead and clock it in place now you need to test that out real good because if you put this on there wrong you can screw everything up i have already spent like 
five hours making this horn button video. I felt real dumb making a part two and trying to extend this out, but you know what? That's why it ended up happening that way because it's gonna happen to you too. You're gonna have a lot of problems and maybe that's why all these aftermarket steering wheels never have the horn working. Oh, don't get it on the threads like that. This kind of work real easy to mess everything up. We need to look at it one more time. This one. You can't get any JB Weld right there. You're going to have to wipe that off. It's going to interfere with the contacts. And watch this lid be something very important, not just a coffee can. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so I super glued that protector so the spring doesn't knock the chrome off. Well, that chrome is not chrome plated, it's chrome paint. And you see how the super glue screwed it up. I don't think it's going to be too noticeable, but I'll order another one. They're $15, so not a big deal. And I could just knock it out, clean it up, and it shouldn't take very long to remount that. And then remember, we custom cut it to fit the steering wheel. That's the only way that I got it to beep. And I still don't know if it's going to do it. Let's go ahead and put this together one final time. So 1972 Beetle, we screw the canceling cam horn contact to this piece right here. We clocked it earlier and we know that's straight up and down. All right, next is this cover piece. Go ahead and line the three holes up. If you look at this and make 100% sure it's not rubbing anything, this one looks perfect. Connect it through the car. This is hot from the horn and we're grounding it out right there. So this goes through the steering wheel. Go ahead and put these screws in there to line it up. Okay, we're doing that because it's real easy to put this on like too high or too low. And then you're gonna be messing the threads up when you tighten these. And put the washer in there. And we JB welded that spring to the nut. Kind of wiggle it around where it's all comfortable. Everything can be tightened and loosened by hand. So then we're gonna snug this up where these are still able to come out by hand. You don't want these in a bind like that. So if it's real hard to fit on there, I just took a grinder, just went around it real quick one time. Should fit now. All right, so let's screw these down for probably the 35th time. Then we figure everything out and then this thing doesn't want to go on there right. So hopefully we can get it on there and clock it now. All right, so we're going to clock it. All right, we have it clocked. It's in there. All right, so I went ahead and ordered another one from J-Bugs. You really don't notice it screwed up in the daytime. It looks completely normal. Oh my God, the mosquitoes are out now. What the frick? So let's just test it out. Ignition on, we can just... All right. So everything works out perfect. The way we cut it back, it doesn't scratch into our paint like it was right there. Everything fits. Well, we haven't tested the canceling cam yet, but it should work. So video's coming. I bought this battery disconnect. We're going to mount it somewhere down there because that is super sketchy. I'm scared to put that seat back in. So I did buy that leather wrap stuff with the string. Might do a video on that. Steering wheel looks awesome. Everything works. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.